Hello friends, I am so happy to connect with all of you. I am Dr. Chetan Mahajan, surgical gastroenterologist, liver and pancreas surgeon. Today I am going to tell you a little bit of information about acute pancreatitis. As you understand, acute pancreatitis has not remained so uncommon as it was about 20 years ago. The main reason in our country for acute pancreatitis is sadly but true alcohol. Alcohol ingestion is directly related to the patients who get pancreatitis. There is a very strong relationship which is seen between the two. The other cause of acute pancreatitis uh, in our country also remains to be gallbladder stones, what we call as gallstone induced acute pancreatitis. Uh, both these conditions they produce a symptom complex which consists of severe excruciating abdominal pain mainly in the upper abdomen. This is associated with nausea, vomiting or both, retching, a complete sense of discomfort and helplessness a pain which is very severe and goes burrowing or radiating to the back and usually this pain is not relieved by common oral medications many times need injectable treatment and also hospitalization now what exactly happens in pancreatitis so friends the science and the pathology is actually beyond our chat but I'll just try and tell you simply what happens is that pancreas which is situated in the center of the abdomen behind the stomach wall and actually is resting on the spine behind gets inflamed. It's a longish gland which is which produces a different a spectrum of hormones including glucagon and insulin. This gland gets inflamed. It's a delicate precarious gland with a huge blood supply and once it gets inflamed, gets irritated and then later on if it gets infected the result is quite bad and disastrous. So pancreatitis simply means that there is a sudden onset acute inflammation of the pancreatic gland and trust me because of the varied functions which pancreas does it affects probably every alternate organ in the body the most important being the lungs and the kidneys if this patient who has got pancreatitis is a alcoholic a person who keeps drinking alcohol then he or she may also have associated liver dysfunction so all in all pancreatitis doesn't remain to be a disease of one organ but actually becomes a systemic organ because it involves so many things. An acute pancreatitis patients because of the toxins produced can actually cause a respiratory distress wherein the patient's saturation, the oxygen levels go down rapidly, the lungs are not able to cope up and the patient may also land up with a invasive in ventilatory support. What I am trying to tell you is that pancreatitis doesn't mean abdominal pain. It means much more and much more dangerous things than that. So what is the treatment of acute pancreatitis? Now before I tell you about that, let me tell you a quick couple of things. A few blood tests are most important in diagnosis of pancreatitis. There are two enzymes which are called amylase and lipase which are usually elevated significantly in sometimes even in thousands in a case of acute pancreatitis. There is something called as a CT scan. All of you know. Now usually an ultrasound of abdomen may not give the utmost and correct information in pancreatitis. The reason being pancreas as I told you earlier is slightly situated behind. There is stomach, there can be the loops of intestine which are covering the anterior portion and therefore an ultrasound may not be the best tool. 
but a CT scan which is done in a good center with a proper technique is the best investigation to give us any information and correct information about pancreatitis. So these two things amylase lipase and CT scan usually will clinch or help to clinch a diagnosis. The treatment will be divided into two parts. The initial treatment is bringing down the pain, maintaining a good blood pressure if the patient has gone in shock, maintain good respiration movements if the lung is getting affected and so and so forth. So this what we call is called as resusc uh, resuscitation in medicine terms, medical terms. So this is the first part and then second part is obviously to treat the cause. Now if the patient is alcoholic, he has to stop drinking. There is no second way about looking at it. If it's a pancreatitis caused by gallstones, a stone which has slipped down in the bile duct and so on and so forth, then the treatment will be endoscopic like an ERCP followed by a definitive operation for gallbladder later on. The patient has a mixed picture in the sense that we are not conclusively sure that the patient is not alcoholic, the patient is actually not showing gallstones also, then the etiology or the reasoning behind this pancreatitis is not clear. But the first step and foremost important thing is to get the patient pain free and normal. So the resuscitation which is done by various drugs, some in some cases even antibiotics, this is first given. In about two to three days time, if the patient has not got further complications, the medical treatment will take care of it. And in those cases where we have not found a reason, probably that is the time to try and find out a reason. Essentially, pancreatitis, the first part is nothing but medical treatment. There are a few patients who undergo complications as a consequence of that attack. But those complications are only reflected or they come to surface after a period of time. If you get pancreatitis today and you do a CT scan tomorrow, you may not have findings. So you have to give some time interval. Depending on the, how the patient is behaving, you may be required to repeat a CT scan in some time or even an ultrasound. And depending on that, there are certain set of patients who even need surgeries in acute pancreatitis. Those surgeries can be removal of fluid from the abdomen which is in and around the pancreas. Sometimes the fluid gets infected, it can become an abscess and or sometimes the pancreas undergoes necrosis, it gets destroyed and these patients need operations. These operations are called as necrosectomies, pancreatic necrosectomies. Uh, I am not going to tell you the detailed surgical techniques behind this thing. Briefly, I will tell you that endoscopy, interventional radiology, laparoscopy and open operations, we use a combination of all these modalities to treat such patients. Uh, at CALS, our center, we are very experienced in handling pancreatitis and patients pertaining to that. Uh, we have, we take pride that we have taken a lot of efforts, we have made protocols to treat these patients. and the success rate has been very good. If you or your near and dear ones, friends, known people have been diagnosed with acute pancreatitis, who need help in acute pancreatitis, please call up our helpline number 7799-732222. You can log on to our, my website which is www.drchetanmahajan.com and we will be very happy to treat 